Right now at Atlanta's airport, TSA workers are rallying against a looming government shutdown, the possibility that would have them screening airline passengers without getting paid. Yeah, Atlanta News First, Madeline Montgomery's live now at Hartsfield Jackson Atlanta International Airport. Madeline, I see there is a lot of activity behind you out there. Yeah, we're really right in the middle of it, right here at the North Terminal. You can see they're marching right now, and they're trying to raise awareness for the fact that if the government shuts down in seven days, they will be screening passengers here at the airport without pay. Right before the holidays, some transportation security officers may be faced with tough calls. TSOs had to worry about whether do I feed my family, do I pay my rent, do I go buy diapers? Do I leave my child at home unattended because I can't afford to pay for child care? That's what officers fear could happen if the government shuts down. It's a situation they've faced before. Definitely not good for us federal employees because guess what? The TSO workers who I represent, Transportation Security Administration workers, they have to come to work without pay. That's why the American Federation of Government Employees is rallying at the world's busiest airport, pushing passengers to call their legislators to figure out a budget before current funding expires. There's also a bill the group is pushing, H.R. 3394. That would ensure TSA officers would keep getting paid during a shutdown using the security airline fee that passengers already pay. When you go through, see an officer a little down or whatever, just know that they are a little bit stressed at this time and give them some kind words of encouragement. Several Atlanta City Council people will be out here speaking, rallying with the officers. They plan to be rallying out here until about 1 o'clock. Reporting live at Hartsville Jackson Atlanta International Airport, I'm Madeline Montgomery, Atlanta News First.